Hey guys, uh, just wanted to show you my first completed Halloween prop of 2016. Uh, this year we're going to be doing um, a Frankenstein theme attraction at our haunt. So uh, you can't have a Frankenstein theme without having a laboratory. So um, this is the first prop of the laboratory. Um, could be a busy year. Got a lot of stuff I want to make. So. Um, this is a, I guess you could call this a bubble tube machine, or I don't know. But it's kind of got that old style, which I'm looking for, like the old Frankenstein movies. So uh, let me turn the lights on and show you in more detail. Okay, so um, the tubes I used for this are actually glass wine models uh, from Voga Wine, which is a Pinot Grigio. And um, it's not that bad. And as you can see, we've bought a couple of them over the years. So. Um, and I just kept them around. I just thought they were kind of a cool bottle and uh, maybe I could use them for something. And so this was the perfect project for that. Um, and so I, I kind of routed all my uh, uh, lines. I wanted everything to come up from the bottom. So it was all in one unit. And um, these bottles, they just have a plastic cap on them. So basically this is bottles upside down right now. This is, this is the bottom of the bottle. Um, uh, to do it this way, um, I knew I was going to have to drill some kind of air hole here because you can't just pump air into a bottle that's sealed without having some kind of air release. So I did have to use, um, if you can see there or not, it's kind of like a, a tile bit. And also these are, or you can, you can uh, drill glass with, with them, you just have to be very careful. So I just drilled a very tiny little hole in the top of here that, that lets air come escape from the top of the bottle. Now, I do want to point out that, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to keep everything coming up from the bottom, but um, about halfway through this project, I was, I was online and I saw a video from, um, from Golf Gloom, and uh, he made a great bubble tube, and um, I wish I would have seen his video before I started this, because I probably would have more mim mimicked the way he did his. Um, he actually did the airlines coming in from the top. And I think he used uh, some sort of plastic water bottle. And um, I tell you what, uh, I ran th into a lot of issues trying to keep everything sealed in the bottom. I, I've got everything um, caulked with um, uh, silicone sealant. And um, it turned out okay, but it, uh, it was a lot of headaches to get to this point. So uh, I just want to give a shout out to Golf Bloom. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put uh, uh, a link to his uh, YouTube clip on the bottom here. And... Um, yeah, I just wish I would have seen that before. It has turned out excellent, and, and probably going the route that he took is, is going to save you a lot of headaches. But uh, anyway, here this is my take on it. And um, so, um, other also to point out here, these tops here that come up, uh, these are just um, um, a, these were actually chrome, and I just painted them. But uh, they're actually uh, plumbing um, uh, caps. Like for instance, this would. Uh, conceal a plumbing line. I don't know what exactly what they call them, but I just found them in the, the hardware store and they look almost fit perfectly on that. So, um, and then uh, to point out here, um, I actually found uh, these, uh, these gauges in um, like a used electronics store. And I, I don't know how much I paid for them, just a couple bucks, I think, but they actually didn't light up. Um, so I installed some LEDs in the back just to light them up and then, so, um, we'll note that I, I got a couple switches here that do switch some of the things on and off. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the back. Uh, it's a mess, but uh, I'll show you all the wiring and uh, what else I have in the back here. Okay, so I'll pop the back open here and expose this wiring nightmare that I got back here. Uh, first of all, uh, I've got two lines going in. One's uh, 12 volt for the LEDs and uh, one's 120 volt for the aquarium fish tank uh, pump that I've got in here and it's just for the bubbles. Um, so one thing to note there, um, if because I'm wiring these from the bottom, um, I had to get these one-way valves because, you know, when this thing's off uh, and the air is disconnected, water is going to want to leak down here and so this uh, this one-way valve prevents that just to note if you do go this route you're going to have to get these one-way valves 
Um, and you can kind of see the bottom. This is the bottom, or actually the top of the, the wine bottle. It's a plastic cap. And I was able to just drill uh, in the bottom and put some LEDs in there. Um, and uh, as you can see, I used uh, um, just a small breadboard for all my wiring. Um, yeah, it's not, you know, I'm not very proud of this. It's kind of a wiring nightmare, but you know what, it works. So um, for right now, I'm just gonna close the hatch on this thing and call it done. Well, I, I hope you guys liked. Um, like I said, I got, uh, I got a busy year ahead of me. I got a whole bunch of ideas and hopefully I'll be able to get to all of them. So uh, more videos to come. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them. I, I will try to answer anything. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, happy haunting.